Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Kingdoms Soundwave which is based on the Generation 1 Soundwave boombox. Why not? There I say, why not? We got ourselves on our core class figure. But we got a whole bunch of comparisons to do with this one because we're going to show off all the different sound waves next to this one. First on the list, we got Earthrise Netflix Soundwave. He's a big boy compared to the core class. We got Transformers Siege Boombox Soundwave. Why not? Yeah, I say why not. Next, we got the big Titans Return Soundwave, and he's a bigger boombox than, than this one. Why not? Next, we got some vehicle mode sound waves. We got animated sound wave because he's a car vehicle we got authentic bravo sound wave based on the cyberverse sound wave why not dare i say why not next we got rnd sound wave that's a good, good comparison if i do say so myself of course rnd laser beak why not because he's laser beak And last but not least, Deluxe Class, Robots in Disguise, Soundwave. Because he's Soundwave, so let's get down to some other comparisons. We got my custom Core Class Thundercracker. Why not? Core Class Starscream. And Core Class Skywarp. Why not? And last but not least, Core Class Leader Megatron. But now that we're done showing off comparisons, let's get down to transformation. Shall we? Let's. We're going to disconnect the legs on the side like so. And then we're going to rotate them down like so. Making sure to turn them around like so. And there we got Soundwave's legs all done. Flip out his arms. Flip out his hands. And flip up his head. Come on. Come on, head. Come on. His head is being a little difficult for me. And there we got his head and body all transformed. We're going to disconnect these parts which form his shoulder cannon. This part forms his shoulder cannon, so we're going to peg that in right there. And disconnect his gun from the side and give him his his sound blaster, his blaster of, of uh, decimation. Sorry if I had to pause for a second. I'm trying to think of his ion blaster, basically. A lot of correction, a little bit of correction, if I do say so myself. Probably wondering, does he come with any cassettes? Yes, he does. He comes with this mini cassette that does not transform. If it transformed, it would have been so cool for this sound wave. Otherwise, a good-looking figure. We're going to put the camera down because this guy is tiny. And we're going to transform... The other core class figures for a group shot comparison. Because that's the last thing I'm going to do before I end this video. Why not? Dare I say, why not? And I just disconnected his leg by accident. Whoops. Sometimes you can disconnect the leg if you're not careful enough. So I gotta be careful when transforming these figures. Oh, come on, Soundwave. 
work with me here. Work with me, Megatron. I mean, not Soundwave, but Megatron. Work with me here, Megatron. Work with me here. Yeah, so a little bit of fuss with Megatron today. Definitely a little bit of fuss with him. But a nice looking figure otherwise. Leader Megatron next to Soundwave. Why not? Dare I say, why not? Now we're going to transform the other core class figures. Which means I got to grab them. Get them all transformed for this Decepticon. Generation 1 Decepticon group shot. And I hope they do more of these. Like, I'd love to see a core class reflector. And maybe a core class actual core class thundercracker that would be so nice to get with these core classes and then we could have a complete set instead of my custom core class figure which would be very nice to get if hasbro decided to do that we are getting a g2 megatron which is nice So, yeah, that's going to be nice in general. And here we got Skywarp next to Soundwave Megatron. Why not? Dare I say, why not? A lot of transformation steps, I know, but given I'm doing this on memory, which is pretty good, I have a pretty good memory after messing around with these figures for so many times before I reviewed them, which is how I do things whenever I get these figures. I go by memory of the transformations after messing around with them so many times. Because I'm that good of a reviewer at times. Except there are some times I have to look at the instructions to transform them. But only certain times. And there we got Starscream. Why not? Stand for me, Screamer. There we go. He's standing. Screamer is standing. And there we have our Decepticons from Generation 1 Core Class. So far. And these are some nice looking bots. I kind of dig them. Is a Core Class Kingdom Soundwave worth adding to your collection? Yes. He is a fun little Soundwave to transform and mess around with. And I'm so glad to have him for my collection. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.